We are back! That's we right. are back! What's up, guys? And welcome back to the Chop Shop. Finally. Uh, first and foremost, I apologize for my absence. I've been insanely busy. And then... I had some sciatic nerve issues, so I've literally had pain shooting down my spine, through my ass, down my hamstring, into my knee, so that's been awesome. And then Wednesday the 3rd, I had the pleasure of giving birth to a kidney stone, and boy, I gotta tell you, I consider myself, for lack of better words, to be kind of a bad motherfucker, high pain tolerance, you know, I... I damn near stitch myself up. I've dug metal out of my eye. I don't go to the doctor. I take care of it myself. And I went from perfectly okay at work to literally laying on a pallet on the back of a gas station that I was delivering to screaming in agony. So I spent July 3rd in the hospital getting morphine for the first time. That was an experience. And, uh bag of IV and apparently I was also extremely dehydrated so then the fourth I spent on the couch still in agony and I still feel like dog shit anyways today we're finally gonna get a little bit of work done on Sandy uh, kind of a long-awaited episode and piece of progress for me if you are new to the channel this is Sandy 78 F100 Vic swapped, we're bagging it, four linking it. Should be about a 350 horse, 308. We're gonna go with a Tremec TKX, giant frame notch, it needs finished. We did a two and a half inch frame Z that still needs finished. I wanna box everything up and blah, 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 blah. So this is just, this is all just mock up. The truck's gonna have to be completely blown back apart, finished welded, painted, blah, 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 all the stuff that comes along with building a vehicle. Anyways. What's up, Mr. Midas? What's up, buddy? What's up, my furry friend? Hi. Uh, today, like I said, we got bags. We finally have bags. And this kit is actually quite nice. If you jump on Facebook and listen to all the idiots and even some of the forums, they claim that this bag kit, the bracket specifically, A, need to be cut and rewielded to fit. They're wrong. Uh, they also claim that you have to ditch your sway bar when running bags. I have one mocked up, and I can show you that they are wrong. I have room for days around that sway bar. And again, these are bent, but I mean, I don't see that moving the uh, sway bar very much, especially, like I said, I got, I got room for days in there. And those brackets bolted right in. Zero issues. And this is just kind of mocked up. I don't have any washers or nothing in there. I got to... I got to get a bolt in the bottom of the bag yet, but uh, the only thing I did have to do is just, uh, I had to wall her out, I'll just leave that in there, I had to wall her out just the holes in the top of the mount here, is the only thing I had to do, and that whole kit went in in like five minutes. If you are curious of what kit this is, this is from Chassis Tech, I've been around for quite a while, American made. Um, as a heads up, these are made to order, so you're probably going to be waiting for like three weeks before they come in, or you can get them from their online store. I think it's what Fire, Firehawk, or Firebird Performance or some shit like that. Uh, that's Chassis Tech as well. Um, the only thing I emailed them, I never got any information back. Um, I was curious of what the inlet of the bag was. Uh, the kit that I ordered is what three eighths. I am going to end up probably running half inch throughout the entire thing. So I just had to get a little adapter. And again, this is just this is just mocked up at the end of the day. Uh, I'm kind of just annoyed because the truck sits so low. I can't get a jack under it. So annoying. And again, I want to run half inch line because I don't want to, I don't know. To me, it's just being bagged is cool. And when you come up and air out, it's dope. But this whole truck... It's kind of, the theme of the truck is basically being an asshole. Like this truck's all assholery. So like when I pull up to the show, I don't want to 
scenario, I'll, I want to flip a switch and boom, smack the ground. We're running fender well, gaster style, exit headers. I plan on dragging this truck, throwing sparks, and then you guys know I relentlessly beat on it. And it's just what it is. The, the whole theme of a truck is just maximum assholery, if you will. I want to do donuts and burnouts and throw sparks and just be as loud as I can. And I just want all eyes to be on this truck, whether it's parked, cruising, or I'm abusing it. So, and also I intend, and I know somebody's probably gonna be like, hey, it's super expensive, blah, 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 but you know what? It's cool. I want to run half inch copper. I'm gonna plumb in most of the system in half inch copper. Um, a, because it looks cool. B, there's not a lot of things that I'm particularly good at, but sweating copper is one of those things. So if we're gonna plumb it all in copper. It's gonna look super dope. It's gonna smack the ground when I flip a switch. And uh, yeah, so enough rambling. Let's get to work. This is probably not a surprise to you guys who've been here for a while. I broke yet another tripod, and I think all I have left is this steak. So bear with me as I figure out how I'm going to record this. But uh, let's get some work done. There. I guess that's a problem solved, right? Looks like a tripod to me. I guess, first and foremost, push this pig over. Got Mr. Midas. Oh, that hurts. That hurts real nice. Let me get a stand under this thing on rollers. I don't know. I don't know. No. Right there. No. Well, I guess we're gonna do one side at a time. Alright, let's get these fancy wheels off. Rollers out the way. I'll give you guys maybe a little bit better shot of what's going on in here. Like I said, everyone claims this, this kit doesn't fit and needs to be modified and blah blah blah. And I installed this, I just jacked it up. At least mocked up this side. I just jacked it up. I didn't take the wheel or nothing off. The, the brackets slid in exactly as they should. The bag went in right in place. So I don't know what everybody is doing that they claim this kit doesn't fit, but they're wrong. Again, it's from Chassis Tech. You can just go to their website, Google uh, or Google Search Bar, uh, Crown Vic, and that should swap right up. Or even if you just Google uh, 03 and up Crown Vic bags, these are what pops up on the eBay store. Same shit. All right. So first and foremost, I guess if you want to run these wheels, and don't, don't be like me. I'm unique. You're not me. But uh. These are the Gasser ETs. I've never seen anybody run them. And besides being an asshole, one of the things that I'm going for is kind of like a, like a traditional Gasser had sex with a mini truck. And that's what we're going for. That's why we got the, the pie crust slicks out back with the white walls and the steelies. We got the Gasser style skinnies up front. That's the look I'm going for, but they do not clear. I even just put some spacers back here just to, I was trying, I was hoping I wasn't going to have to run a whole ass spacer and I was just trying to get a measurement. They don't space out enough. They, they plain as day rub the caliper bracket. In fact, like I can't even put all the lugs on. So when the wheels are on, they're just whole ass knocked up. We are going to end up replacing the upper control arm, the bushings and stuff all need love and all that jazz. So then we got our super dope, um, why I can't even remember the name of the freaking company. You guys know who makes these. You guys know who makes those. We gotta get those installed. But I just, Outcast. That's what it is, derp. <clears throat> but guys, look, I mean, this, this whole kit bolts in, no issue. I just had to waller out these holes, but I'm gonna get this pulled out. I don't have washers or anything on this side. Nothing is tight. And I need to get my airline in. And the goal for the episode today 
is to air up the front and air it back out. So I would consider that a uh, pretty big mission accomplished, but I'm gonna get this out, get some thread tape on these fittings, and I will walk you through one side. I don't, I don't know, I'm in pain, I'm tired, it's hot, I'm sticky. Ugh. Ooh, guys, I was talking shit, and I might be wrong. Not that I think that the truck is gonna air up this high, but fully aired up, that sway bar sure does come in contact with at least the bracket. Well, I mean, that's for sure gonna hit the bag. Um, well, shit, I really don't wanna lose my, my sway bar, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't plan on slinging it around in your corners or nothing. Just, it's a donuts burnouts and cruising. Um, but I mean, you can see it's tight enough. I can't even get this bracket out. I was gonna pull everything apart, get the bag bolted in here. In fact, I'm still gonna have to because the, the bolt that runs through there is super in my way. So stay tuned. Let's see if that sway bar does continue to be an issue. And install already not going well. I was not being careful. Tightening up my fitting. I fucking broke it. And I'm sure I can probably not get one of these local. So awesome. This might be kind of self-explanatory. The kit doesn't come with any instructions. Honestly, you don't need it. Just don't be stupid like me and break your only fitting. So this is gonna go on the lower part where your coil would have previously bolted. And then this goes on top of your bag. And then just this just bolts on the top of the tower. Two bolts there, one bolt there. Super self-explanatory. I get it sucks, I broke that fitting. But maybe at least I can get this plumbed up, run air to one of the lines and watch it go up and down for the first time. I don't know, I honestly don't know if I can get one of these fittings local or not. I was just at Lowe's too. Sway bar, looks like it's totally gonna have to go. Damn it. I really did wanna keep that. I did, I did, I did. But uh, I guess let's get that out of the way. All right, sway bar out of the way. Bag and lower bracket in. In theory, well, this episode is not going as smoothly as I thought it was going to. I'm gonna be able to Press this back again. There's no instructions, so I don't know if it's easier to get the brackets in. Uh, now we can press this back and squeeze this guy in here. Maybe. I'm willing to bet I probably should have done this first. Probably should have done this first. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know where to put this. Put in both the brackets independently and then compress the bag. Either way, it's kind of a tight fit, but <coughs> everything did previously fit, which is fine. So then this guy just goes in this way. Again, I just had to waller out the holes and boom. Oh, where's my washers? Where's my washers? Yeah. Need more hands. Midas, help me. Help me, buddy. I need extra hands. Boy, it is already getting hot. Alright. Slows. There goes that one. Try to get in here. These are directional. I believe you want to go this way with the heavy arc towards the other side. I think this is the way they fit this. Yep. Yep. It's the fucking hole. Okay. There's the upper and lower brackets. In theory, I just have to. Pancake this bag out. Oh, it's gonna slide right in there. It's gonna slide right in there. Cool. So do your brackets first. Can I get the impact in there? Oh yeah. Boom. Kaboom, motherfuckers. Here we go, guys. Pretty self-explanatory. Ended up just pulling out this lower bolt 
and getting the lower bag bolt in was kind of a hassle. And my bear claws are too big. But uh, there's that side. Easy peasy. Again, pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to get this other side in. And again, unfortunately, I broke that one airline. But I'm probably going to go ahead and at least plumb in just the one side. Because I just really want to see this thing actuate for the first time. So when we come back, I will be attacking airlines. All right, guys. So I got the airline. And again, this is just temporary. I want to run a larger line. The kit does come with this little cutter. And then otherwise, they're just push fittings. So this just slides right on here. I do believe you can compress these and this little piece right here and get them back off, hopefully, uh, because I broke that other fitting and I don't know that I'll make it to the store today to see if I can find one. I'm just gonna run more than I need because the kit comes with a T as well. So I just, I just wanna see this thing move. Get my fingers in here. I want to run it up through here. Let's see. I can do this without kinking the line all up. She goes like that one in pretty smooth. I don't I already don't like the fact that it's rubbing right here. Again, this is just temporary. Maybe I can put a little bracket or something right there to hold it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see later in life. And then I'm going to say that looks good. That looks long enough. Boom. And let me just put that right on there. I'm pretty sure those can... Well, they do. Yay, I don't have to buy extra fittings. So in theory now, my truck's gonna go up and down. Let's throw the wheels and tires back on it. Uh, struggle bus, because now my sway bar's gone, and that's kind of the point where I was jacking up at. So, let's just see what she wants to do. Well, guys, <clears throat> see what she do. I don't know how high it's gonna lift, to be honest. I don't even know how much air to put in it. Straight up. I mean, it lifts to where it's drivable. Do we have any ground clearance? <laughs> Barely. I mean, the back is gonna come up too. I mean, the back's the back's literally sitting on the ground. So. And again, that, this is just the one side, so the whole front end isn't left in, the rear end isn't left in. If, if that was all the lift we were going to get, we are probably still going to be in trouble because this thing is low. She's super low.
Okay, guys. So, I mean, that's pretty dope. But, I mean, I'm already looking at it and seeing we're still going to have some more issues because, I mean, it doesn't come up particularly high. I mean, once the rear is up, you know, we'll, we'll have some clearance. But also, at this height, I'm not going to be able to turn. So... That's not quite gonna work. I mean, there's just no, that that's that's not gonna do a whole lot for me. So that kind of sucks. Maybe I can get a hold of the chassis tech and let them know maybe they can even swap me out some bags that have some more lifts to them. But um, I don't know, maybe I'll feel less like death and run to the port store, see if I can get another one of those fittings and actually get the whole thing traveling up and down. I mean, that's, that's not going to change anything. You know, both, both bags are just going to lift it as, as high as it currently is. So I threw just some lug nuts in here. That's just a spacer. Give me an extra three quarter inch of lift. I mean, I have some turn radius that is touching, but also, like I said earlier, I'm going to have to run what is the thinnest they make? I think, uh, was it an inch and a quarter spacer? So the wheel's gonna be sitting out more. So, so I don't know if I can get a bag that inflates to a taller height, because that one inch isn't gonna do it. I could maybe get another half inch out of there, but I mean, that's not, that's still not gonna help me that much. Not really. That's some turn radius, I mean. I could probably drive it on the street, but get over there, over there, over there. Eh. Eh. But <clears throat> that's not great. All right, guys. So crisis slightly averted. I haven't made it to the store yet. I still feel like ass. But turns out I wasn't paying attention. And uh, I only had my air compressor set at 80 PSI, so I wasn't getting full lift. These things are capable of every bit of 200. I'm only at 140, but... At 140, as you see, we have more relevant lift, for sure. And let's roll, let's roll this hand cart over here. Uh, Willie can see, but. That's full lock. Left, not much clearance, but clearance. And again, I have to run some wheel spacers. You know, if I don't, if I don't have 100% turn radius, cool. I mean, it's to be expected on a low truck, but that's, that's almost full turn, left, and uh, That's almost full turn right with clearance. So, this may not be a big surprise to you, but uh, I'm an idiot, so. Boom, price is averted, hit the gym. See if we can find one of these fittings locally. And uh we'll be back. Fucking score. Ridge Napa have been taken care of. Alright guys, here we go. So I got my other bag installed. Airline ran. Got my T. Let's uh, fully actuate both sides for the first time. Nope. Nope. And still, that's still only, I think, 120 or 140 
my control valve on my uh, air compressor is broke, so that's just that's kind of where I'm stuck at. But I mean, that's a decent turn radius. It'll still come up a little bit more. I took my I took my little three quarter inch spacers out of there too. If anything. Uh, that might be something worth installing. I might need just a little bit more lift, but I do think that these bags are going to work. This. That's that's barely clearing, and that's that's a decent turn radius. But again, I'm going to lose some of that with my spacer. <laughs> And that's about all I got this way. But again, it is going to lift some more, so I think we're going to be okay. I think we are going to be okay. I think. Um, I do want to like half-ass test fit this sway bar back in. It'd be super cool to be able to use that. I didn't want to ditch it, but. Let's uh, let's throw that back in and just kind of see the the stud or whatever you want to call it on the end link was spinning on the other side. So I did I, I cut it. I just, I just cut it. It's fine. So I won't be able to full blown test fit it, but at least I can get a half ass idea of where things are gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna get away with it, but I guess let's find out. Yeah, guys, I don't think this sway bar is going to fly. When you're aired out, it's close, but you do have the room. But when you air up, it just gets closer and closer. Look at that. So slowly closing that gap. Yep. That is unfortunately not going to work. That's not going to work, friends. I was burying that thing right into that bag, so I don't, I can't think of any way to make that work. That's just, that's not going to work, friends. I mean, because that's, that's the way you're going to be driving, it's aired up like that, and that stud is going to go right through your right right into your bag, right into your damn bag. That's, that's unfortunately not gonna work. Dying it, dying it. That's it, I mean, you got aired out though. You have, you have the room aired out. That is unfortunate. I didn't want to have to ditch that sway bar. Well guys, as much as I would love to make more progress, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. I can't do nothing about that sway bar. I still gotta blow this thing totally back apart, paint everything, tighten everything, box the frame. I gotta get my, uh, my outcast control arm brackets actually installed. I gotta do the four link in the rear. Still haven't decided if I'm just going to deal with that Dana 40 for a while. I mean, those are okay rear ends. I'm going to be making like three 350 horse. And on those hard ass cheater slicks, I'm never going to get any traction. So I don't know if it's actually worth spending the money to throw an Explorer 88 in it or grab it a 9 inch in case I do ever put a relevant tire on it. So I would hate to have to buy a bunch of new shit, cut a bunch of welds, and weld in a whole nother rear end. I just I don't want to have to deal with it twice. But I don't know. I don't know. But let's air this thing out one more time. Air it out one more time. And then I'm going to take a nap.
Definitely need more PSI. Definitely need more air pressure. I meant like 130. Like I said, I can't. I can't adjust my air compressor to make anymore, so that's just where I'm stuck. These should be good for every bit of 200, and I think that will give me the ground clearance that I both want and need, as well as a turn radius. That's high enough to clear some speed bumps that obviously the rear end's gonna lift at some point too, so we'll, we'll gain more clearance that way. But, uh, so we're staying, guys. I'm gonna air this out. Get out of here, it's getting hot. Boom, motherfuckers. That's an episode for you, dick. You happy?